we were subjected to sexual harassment, spiritual manipulation, grooming, and sexual misconduct. Multiple unnamed women are making accusations against Tim Ballard going public today through their attorney. The women say their allegations are unequivocally true. Now that seems to push back a little bit against Ballard, the former head of Operation Underground Railroad, who said lies would be told about him. Brian Malahi live tonight at the Capitol, where this lawyer for the women spoke today. Brian, some specifics on the allegations, but there are still many unknowns. Yeah, we don't know who the women are. Their attorney today says they want to stay anonymous to protect their privacy. I spent most of December 2013. Reports of allegations, denials, and now... We also feel a responsibility. Public statements from attorney Suzette Rasmussen, who says she represents a group of women I... making sexual misconduct accusations and otherwise against former OUR CEO Tim Ballard. The behavior of Tim Ballard crossed the line and these women cannot remain silent. With the movie Sound of Freedom and its profile of Ballard as a human trafficking rescuer, the allegations have national coverage, but on the street... Are you following these allegations against Tim Ballard, the former head of Operation Underground Railroad? I am not, no. The story? That story. Yeah. No, not familiar. Okay. Seems not top of mind. I'll look into it. Yes. Why did you feel it was important, and the women feel it was important for you to make this statement today? The women have remained silent as much as possible to this point, and as further denials of these allegations come from the other side, they felt it was very important that the public know the truth. What does spiritual manipulation mean? The attorney would not elaborate today. She also says she would not talk about the numbers of women, but says that, uh, that more women may come forward, may have information, several more. Reached out to an aide for Ballard today, did not hear back. Live at the Capitol, Brian Malahi, KUTV 2 News.